Let's take a look at the area of a parallelogram, shall we? Uh, the first uh, example here is a pretty straightforward example. We're just simply going to use the formula. The formula for the area, again, is base times height. Uh, the base can be thought of as this line right here. That's B, so that's a 2. The height has to be perpendicular, so it's not going to be that 4.6. Talked about that in the notes. But here, the perpendicular height is 3.5. That's the height. So simply have to multiply 2 times 3.5. So the area is 7, and that's going to be square centimeters. It's the number of squares that would fit inside this parallelogram. Our second example is similar to it, but this is the one I was kind of talking about earlier. This is the one that is a very common question on assessments, and it tricks kids all the time. So we want to make sure that we know how to do this. It looks pretty complicated from the picture. It says find the length of DE. So DE is right here. I'm going to actually make it X. So we want to find out the length of X. And so the first thing you want to do is actually find out what the area of the parallelogram is. So you need to find a base and a height that are listed. So if you look, if you, if you think of the 9.4 as the base, you have to think of X as the height because it's perpendicular. And so that's not really going to work for us. So if you turn it this way, you can see a little bit easier that we could call this distance 13 the base and 9 is perpendicular to it. We could call that the height. So we're going to take the 13 times the 9 and we're going to figure out the area of the parallelogram. So we're going to do 13 times 9. I'm going to get my calculator out for this. 13 times 9 happens to be, I don't know, I just hit the wrong button, happens to be 117. So the area of this shape is 117 square inches. Okay, now that's not the answer. We're asking for the length of DE, whatever this X is. So now we got a second part to the problem. The second part would be to now find another base and another height. And that's where this comes in to play. This other base is 9.4. This height is x. But if I multiply the 9.4 times the x, that would also give me the area. So I'm going to write 9.4 times x will have to equal, and it'll have to equal the 117, which is what we found out the area of the parallelogram was. So now I'm simply dividing by 9.4, and x would equal 117 divided by 9.4, and that is 12.4, uh, we'll call it 5, 12.45. And now we are not in square units because it's just a length, so it's just simply inches. And so this is our answer to the length of DE.